after his latest update teases its Solar EV app, battery tech, and delivery timelines so far this year, Solar EV startup Aptera Motors continued its welcomed level of public transparency today, posting another progress update video for February, offering some juicy details. After a co-founder Steve Fambro walks you through the first glimpse at the upcoming Aptera app, which promises several cool features, plus we get a look at some solar EV battery packs and some hints at how safe the production vehicle will be. But before we continue if you're enjoying this briefing please kindly support this channel by liking and clicking on the subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel and to help YouTube learn of your preferences and enable you to receive new video updates every time they are uploaded thank you. Let's get going. There are a multitude of reasons why Aptera Motors is different from the other original equipment manufacturers, OEMs out there. The most obvious is that the California-based startup is really the only company left trying to bring solar EVs to full-scale production, and it is closer than ever, following a successful $34 million crowdfunding program. Additionally, Aptera constantly keeps its growing fan base as well as EV enthusiasts in the know of its progress in developing its solar EVs, posting monthly updates to YouTube. There is also plenty of news coming out of Aptera HQ in between those monthly videos. For example, Aptera offered the public a look at its production intent build process in mid-February. Today, Aptera posted its monthly update, and it's one of the more exciting ones. There's lots to unfold here, so let's dig in. If and when production builds of the Solar EV hit the market, owners will be able to control and monitor several functions from anywhere, including heating, ventilation and air conditioning, HVAC, and charging, and can even see how much solar power their car is gathering in real time. Next, Fambro discussed an update on the battery packs that will go in the Solar EVs, developed and manufactured by CTNS in South Korea, as part of a supply agreement signed in December 2023. Thambro said CTNS is moving quickly and will provide Aptera with some of the most energy-dense and safe battery packs in the EV industry. The first run of full production intent battery packs will be built soon, and Aptera is promising another update in the coming months. Next, Steve Fambro shared that Aptera will unveil its body and carbon design to the public at Jack World 2024 in Paris next week. Per the video, Aptera's co-founder thought February would be an excellent time to show off the company's years of hard work. Teasing a crash simulation of the Solar EV, the test footage shows the large crumple zone in the front absorbing all of the crash impact, while a hit to the Solar EV side protects passengers with reinforced doors and a structural battery pack. These remain simulations until Aptera can compare the data to real-life crash tests with the production intent builds. Additionally, Fambro offered some excellent insight into what transparency means to Aptera and why it continues to post monthly updates. Transparency is a cornerstone of our values and we consistently strive to adopt a transparency-first approach. Sharing our story and allowing all of you to join us on our path is what has allowed us to get to where we are today. Being a startup, we're tasked with staying nimble and constantly adjusting to rapidly working conditions. We must also do this while being as accurate and as forthcoming as possible. It's a tight line to walk. Here are the thoughts of some EV fans on the Aptera car maker that is being awaited with a lot of excitement. This is what some say. Bringing a new EV to market is always challenging, especially now. Even Tesla almost didn't make it. I feel Aptera is doing everything right within their means. A worthy design and company that deserves a chance. 45,000 plus pre-orders means a lot, one of which is mine. What's more? Fambro then digs into the question on every Aptera reservation holder's mind, sharing an update on delivery timelines. Aptera is currently developing production intent builds that will be used for validation and crash testing to ensure safety. However, Fambro reiterated previous statements that reaching production of its launch edition solar EVs will require additional capital. Fambro went on, we intend to share delivery timelines as soon as we can. Lastly, Fambro shared that some vehicle design changes will be happening, and they take those changes very seriously, saying those decisions are only made if they require less capital, including research and development R&D, and tooling costs. Aptera promised to share more information once partner supply agreements are officially signed. That's all for now. If you're interested in joining the Solar Pack, you can reserve your own Aptera EV today for $70. Bringing a new EV to market is always through sustainable innovation. Aptera's founders envisioned a vehicle that pushes the boundaries of design and efficiency and prioritizes the planet's health. 
rooted in a deep commitment to environmental sustainability, Aptera Motors aim to harness the sun's power to meet everyday transportation needs. This ambitious goal led to the development of the company's patented solar electric vehicle technology to reduce reliance on fossil fuels and traditional charging infrastructure, a journey that has set it apart in the automotive industry. Consequential event in Aptera's history involved its dealings with the United States Department of Energy (DOE), especially concerning the Advanced Technology Vehicles Manufacturing (ATVM) loan program. This program was designed to facilitate the development and production of more fuel-efficient vehicles, offering a potential lifeline in terms of funding for entities such as Aptera. The company encountered obstacles primarily due to the unique classification of its vehicle and the Department of Energy's strict eligibility criteria for the Advanced Technology Vehicles Manufacturing Loan. Aptera's solar electric vehicle, characterized by its innovative design and three-wheeled layout, did not conform easily to the traditional passenger vehicle categories recognized by the program. This misalignment posed a considerable challenge as the Advanced Technology Vehicles Manufacturing Program predominantly favored conventional four-wheeled vehicles, complicating Aptera's bid for loan qualification. In response to these hurdles, Aptera sought alternative funding routes including equity crowdfunding to propel its mission forward. This approach showcased the company's determination and flexibility while it emphasized the need for government policies and funding mechanisms to be adaptable and inclusive, supporting emerging technologies within the automotive sector. The encounter between Aptera and the DOE highlights a broader issue, the necessity for governmental policies and support structures to evolve in tandem with technological advancements, particularly in sectors needed for combating climate change and advancing sustainable transportation initiatives. In an impressive display of community support and innovation in funding, Aptera Motors announced on January 31st the successful culmination of its accelerator program, securing over $33 million to kickstart the production of its pioneering solar electric vehicle. This initiative represents a strategic march towards making solar-powered transportation a reality, driven by a community-led effort that allowed enthusiasts to secure one of the first 2,000 vehicle reservations by contributing $10,000 or more to the company's crowdfunding campaign. Launched in January 2023, the Accelerator program rapidly gained traction, with the momentum continuing long-term, raising more than $2 million in just the last few days prior to its close. This corroborates the enthusiastic backing for Aptera's vision, highlighting the firm belief in the project's potential. Chris McCammon, the community and content manager at Aptera, reflected on the company's unique position amid a challenging market, emphasizing the community's role in pushing the boundaries of what's possible in solar mobility. This sentiment has been echoed by Accelerator program participants drawn to being among the first to own a solar-powered vehicle and contribute to launching a groundbreaking company. Aptera's commitment to transforming transportation is evident in its innovative vehicle design and production approach. The company has developed a solar electric vehicle that promises to meet most daily driving needs off-grid thanks to its patented two-axis automotive-grade solar panels, an efficient powertrain, and one of the most energy-dense battery packs in the industry. The Launch Edition vehicle, boasting a 400-mile range on a single charge and equipped with approximately 700 watts of solar cells, sets new benchmarks for eco-friendly mobility. Further distinguishing itself, Aptera has utilized equity crowdfunding to fund its operations, amassing over $100 million in the past two years. This approach underscores a shift in how automotive companies secure funding and how they build communities around sustainable innovations, aiming for a positive societal and environmental impact. With the $33 million raised through the Accelerator program, Aptera is well on its way to funding the initial phases of production, including the procurement of tooling and the build-out of production intent vehicles for testing and validation. This progress paves the way for the next phase of raising capital for high-volume production, which is anticipated to require significantly less capital than traditional automakers. As Aptera transitions from the Accelerator program to broader fundraising efforts, it invites individuals to join its solar mobility movement, emphasizing collective ownership and responsibility towards sustainable transportation. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you when the next video is published.